Hi, welcome to Beverly D Beauty. I'm Beverly D. This is Dr. Marie Cavanaugh. I'm going to be doing her hair for the second time. So this is her second visit. So you'll get to see what that's like with me. <laughs> um, but before I do that, I'm going to refresh in my hair with my Beverly D uh, hair balm. This is for exclusively for fine hair. It gives the hair actually body. Because I'm noticing my hair is flat. So what I like to do is really like run it through my scalp and then my ends. Uh, but from the back to the scalp because you don't want to go on the top of the head because I want to make my hair, it gives the hair more body. You don't like how you like your hair the second day because it's got a little oil in it. Now, this is really good for fine hair because it doesn't make it flat. It doesn't have a lot of oil in it. It's got more wax. When you use Beverly D. Lux Organic Hair, the product does not have polymers and it doesn't have waxes and it doesn't have petroleum in it so it's not weighing the hair down so the hair might get a little fly away so this is why you want to put a, uh, my hair balm in to give it more like weight on the ends so it's not so soft and fly away so you see how it gave my hair body like it's got more yeah. style it looks like you blow dried it but you didn't yeah it's just um, it made it sexier it kind of puts you know like it makes your hair like Bridget Bardot yeah. and, or Pam Anderson, you know, it gives you that little sex appeal. So that's Beverly D hair balm. So anyway, tell me what's happened since my I last cut your hair. How long ago was that? It was at, at over three months ago, I, I know that. June? Before that, I think. It was a long time ago. Yes. And it, it lasted was. for quite a while. How long? At least, well, let's see. Um, when did you get your hair cut? I got my hair cut at the end of August, which was actually quite atrocious. I wanted the bangs trimmed, and she she was just like chopped them. So, <laughs> and uh, but I loved my haircut that you gave me. It was really easy. I didn't have to do much to it. It lasted for a long time. Don't you love hearing that? I love hearing that. So it really three months for sure because I think it was April. So it was yeah. May, June, July, and so you went in August. Yeah, four months. Really. Okay. So what was? So why you had to get your hair cut because your bangs were too long? Right. I should teach you how to cut your bangs. Okay. That is no reason to go to a hairdresser and get your and get this haircut. <laughs> Is you go in front of the mirror, now I don't have bangs, but you're gonna go like this and you're gonna just point cut your bangs. Then okay. you ne don't ever go like that. Just get your bangs down and just point cut and just kind of aim for your eyebrows. Don't cut your eyebrows, but you know, it's like take it and just chop, 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 chop like that. They'll be uneven, that's more real. They'll be softer, they'll cup under better when you don't blow them dry. That's how we get it to curve, the bangs to curve. Then you don't really have to put a round brush in it. They won't hang straight. If you cut them straight like that, then all the weight is at the bottom and that's what makes your bangs flat. Because what you've done is you put too much weight on the ends. And that's very important with fine hair. Fine hair does not really like to be blunt cut. Because when you make blunt cut fine hair, now I am gonna blunt cut her hair, but I'm all but I'm not gonna like give it a one length and I'm and I'm going to be doing it very precisely. I notice that a lot of people make a lot of mistakes with fine hair because they think because they, there's not as much hair they can skip. Oh. You know, like I remember when I started out in this profession, when I was in high school, I sewed, I made suits, I made coats, I made prom dresses, I made all my clothes, right? And I continued that through beauty school and then I got my first job and I also knitted. I started noticing that you know I was making a nice red burgundy corduroy suit and I started noticing I was skipping too much. I was kind of like thinking oh I can do this and do that and what happened is that I lost the, the, the clothes weren't working out. They weren't working out. And I noticed it was because now I was putting my details into my hairdressing profession. 
and details are so important for good haircuts and especially for fine hair and I was committed when I joined the profession that I was going to create the best work for fine hair because I had fine hair and people were doing a terrible job with it. <laughs> so I said I'm going to create products well, I'm going to do the best hair I can for fine hair. And I've done it. I love my hair. And my hair was not, it's not good. I mean, it's not. And these products, Beverly Deluxe Organic Hair, are designed, they have, we have products designed for fine hair. And it really works. Grows hair, thickens hair. Marie has fine hair. And we use the hair mask thickener. This is really nice, huh? Oh, I love the mask. And then we have a styling spray that'll knock your socks off. Ever, this is like the biggest seller in Wisconsin because that, that's the land of fine hair. All that Polish and Germs and Germans and uh, Dutch, they all have fine hair and this is, they really love it. Well, you know, I really love this too because as a, a chiropractor, I was really concerned using hairsprays with the alcohol. I thought either my hair was gonna fall out or I was gonna go up in flames. And so <laughs> I'm really happy that your products are so natural and organic. Tree resin. The tree resin is the thing that makes, thick, makes the hair feel thicker. We apply it, at, spray it at the roots and then comb it through. And you can actually feel how your hair will, your hair will feel thicker. Once you dry it, you'll feel that. And it's just because it's taken the softness out of your hair and it makes it thicker. It just makes a big difference. Um, so anyway, what are we doing for your haircut today? I don't know. <laughs> don't you have to play with it first? Yes. Okay, so, um, so what happened was they gave her a blonde haircut. They left a lot of weight down here and, um, uh, and she's got this flatness here. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to soften this up. I'm going to layer it a little bit so she has more volume. And basically that's it. I mean, it's just, here's what happened. And, and I, here, I really want to say this. Um, I'm in my 50s and uh, my, a lot of my clients are, and what I'm noticing is that the key to looking young and to looking modern is that we have to keep our hair looking healthy and thicker. You know, there's this whole mass movement about creating thick hair and it's done through, um, what are we doing? Hair pieces. You know, everybody's putting in all those hair extensions, but that is not good for fine hair. It really pulls on the follicle and it stresses the follicle where eventually it will pull your hair off. Your hair will fall off because that's how we tweeze eyebrows. You keep tweezing and tweezing and tweezing and you keep injuring that follicle, eventually that hair's not gonna grow. That's what waxing does. So you're putting those hair extensions and I know they're light and all that, but it's still too much weight to be pulling on the hair and eventually it's gonna thin your hair out more. So you may have a solution right now, but it's not a solution in the wrong, long run. That's why at Beverly Deluxe Organic Hair, we do hair, the way we approach hair and beauty is from the inside out. We are nourishing the inside, the hair follicle, to make it stronger, to make it more resilient, to make it more elastic, to make it thicker, or to make it uh, less dry. Some people have really dry hair, and when we push a lot of nourishment with appreciation into that scalp, this is gonna, it changes people's hair. Their hair goes from afro to beautiful shiny curls. And I've done it and I've done it for my clients for years. So that's the possibility of Beverly D Lux Organic Hair. It's hair nutrition. We're feeding the hair, we're building new hair, and it's just, it's amazing. So I'm gonna start now with Dr. Marie. And we're going to massage the appreciation into her hair and scalp. Now you only need like the most three pumps. 
but I would start with one pump at a time, massage it into your hands like hand lotion. You know how on the airplane when they say, okay, if we run into low cabin pressure, you put your, the mask on your face first and then you put it on somebody, you know, assist somebody else, see, we're taking care of ourselves first. Then we're gonna run it through the hair. Now the reason why we lose it in our hands is fine hair doesn't need a lot of oil. It has a lot of oil naturally. So we don't want to overdose it because if you overdose your hair with appreciation, it will get really soft and flat. But, and, and we're going to focus on massaging it into her ends. Because it's the ends that get beat up the most and are the oldest. So that's why it's important to achieve a good length of hair. So I'm going to keep her length. I don't, I'm not trying to, I'm not going after her length. I'm going after more of the older hair, which is on top. Because this is the hair that gets beat up. The hair that grows out of the crown gets hit by the shower, hit by the sun, hit by the heat. Now, Dr. Marie, how do you take care of your hair? What do you do when you do your hair? What's your regimen? What? Do you uh, blow dry? Do you let it dry naturally? Put it in a ponytail? What's your usual way of doing your hair? I do blow dry the bangs every day. And uh, most days I let it air dry by itself. I've noticed that that's actually been working out even better since I'm using Beverly D products. Now and even when after I cut it too, yeah. was that what you were doing? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And wow, your hair looked good. Yeah, and I liked it, that I didn't have to blow dry it. Um, and then I do play tennis and a lot of sports, so I will scrunch it back into a ponytail a number of times a week. Mm -hmm. Okay, so building body in her hair so that she doesn't have to style her hair. That's kind of like one of the um, goals yeah. of this hairstyle. So first I massage the appreciation into her ends, and now I'm kind of taking what's left over and massaging it into her scalp. Like I said, fine hair does not need a lot of oil, but it does need some. Because I notice when women's hair uh, kind of looks really fine, that what it is is it's just starved for some um, lubrication, like some oil. Just a little though. Well, you know, it, I think that was one of the things that shocked me the most was you had me put oil on my hair and I could not conceive how that would increase the volume, but it did. So now I'm a believer. Right. Well, here's the thing is our experience with oil in the past century has been petroleum oil. Johnson's baby oil, um, Alberto V05, they were all too heavy and so they would get your hair oily. Mm -hmm. And then all the products with all their petroleum bases and their waxes and polymers. Um, but also this is pure jojoba oil and that, is the, that oil is the smallest molecular structure in the plant kingdom. Now if you use almond, it's too heavy. It's going to make your hair greasy. If you use sesame unheated, it's too heavy. But if you heat sesame, it will thin it and make it penetrate, but it's also still too heavy. The jojoba oil is the best because it's the lightest and you don't have to use a lot. It's this Appreciation can be used like for taking your eye makeup off. It's great for moisturizing your skin, your body, your face. Um, you can put a few drops in a bath and have a nice bath because we flavored it with rosemary and lavender so it's very um, intelligent, you know, to take a relaxing bath. And, and it's always nice to put this oil in your hair before you go to bed too because it will have you sleep better because mm -hmm. you're smelling the aromatherapy of lavender because I do because there is the uh, real authentic essential oil lavender in here and it can't do it if it's not real. So 
authentic